that's where we want to welcome in our first guest, one of my very best friends, direct descendant of Pocahontas, Native American Indian. She grew up on the same grounds in Virginia as Pocahontas, and Disney has used her likeness in the animated Pocahontas movie, and she's been the likeness in, in many instances yes. for Pocahontas, her uh, relative, Debbie White Dove Perico. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, it's nice to have you. And Debbie, I, I want to say to you, I, I guess for me, I, I watch this, and I have such a heart for you because I've, I've heard your stories about growing up on the reservation. It was no small thing. You had no indoor plumbing. Times were very, very tough for you. You had family members who suffered tremendously. My first question for you out of the gate is, how does it make you feel that Elizabeth Warren exploited what is really your culture and your history, rightfully so, uh, not just for the purposes of winning a political election, but for jobs that might have been filled for, for perhaps by even your very own relatives. And yet she used your culture wrongly in order to get advantages that were intended for people that really have suffered the same sorts of uh, cultural circumstances as you did. How does that make you feel? Well, Gina, it, it makes me feel very, very disappointed that we have someone that is leading or one of the leaders of our country um, doing something like this. I mean, she basically stole from us. Um, is that who we want to lead us in the future? Um, it is. It's very disappointing. And, and go ahead, John. No, I, Debbie, what I was going to ask you was, does, does this... I guess what I'm trying to say is, as, as a true Native American Indian, when you look at somebody like Elizabeth Warren, who goes out there, and even after they're caught, is so flippant about it that they put out an ad, which is essentially a 2020 campaign ad, trying to prove a negative. How would you have liked to have seen Elizabeth Warren handle this? Once the DNA came back with a fraction of a fraction of a fraction, what would, what would you say would have been the most respectful way for her to address this issue to the Native American Indian community in the U.S.? Well, first of all, I think she should have made an apology, saying that, you know, maybe they did think that she was, but now she finally took the test, and she's glad to know that, that she's not. And to make an apology to all of the Native Americans, you know, in the whole United States, and especially the Cherokee, because she was claiming to be part Cherokee Indian when, when her little percentage was nothing, when you have to be at least a, a quarter percent to even be a member of a tribe or be considered American Indian. Well, Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth Warren, Debbie, probably is not the only person uh, to have a small fraction of uh, whatever minority in them. And so my question to you is, do you think it's a good time perhaps for America to revisit some of these laws that uh, give special privileges to certain disadvantaged groups perhaps and, and, to, and to maybe re-examine what exactly constitutes or deems someone from a disadvantaged culture such as uh, the Native American Indian? Yes, um, there were, uh, and of course the Native American Indians deserve a, a lot of, um, you know, extra little privileges for what happened in the past. But, um, but yes, I think there should be. If someone can't just walk into a college and say, I'm, and write on their um, application, I'm, you know, part American Indian or I'm a Cherokee woman or whatever they want to put on there, they shouldn't be able to do that. They should have to prove it. They should have to bring in a card. You know, just like we all have, have a card that says if we have to produce it, we can produce it and it show is, that we're... It, yeah, it is. It, let me ask you something, because the president has been sharply criticized for using the word Pocahontas, exactly at least by the left. Ask, yeah. Okay. Uh, Debbie, do you take offense to uh, him calling Elizabeth Warren or anyone else Pocahontas? No, no. Um, Pocahontas is, she's a real person. She's a heroine, actually, uh, and when people hear her name, they don't think of a slur or anything bad. You know, they just think um, that she's an American Indian woman. Mm -hmm. A historical figure, really. An yeah. historical figure, yeah. exactly. Right. And Debbie, you have a, a documentary that you're working on. I know you're working on also human trafficking, very prevalent in the Native American Indian population. I want to give you a chance to talk about any of that. 
Yes. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to be meeting with um, my cousin, Wayne Newton, uh, in about a week, and we're going to talk about um, getting together and also with some other leaders of um, nations to help with this um, um, this horrible thing that they're stealing the girls from the reservations. and um, So we, we need to put a stop to it, or at least we've got to start somewhere, and we're all going to get together and collaborate and, and try to do something. Awesome. Well, Debbie Perico, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We appreciate you. Good to see you, Debbie. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more live breaking news coverage, exclusive interviews, and videos from Newsmax TV, click subscribe on our YouTube channel, and don't forget to download the free Newsmax TV app for alerts. Newsmax TV, it's real news for real people.